you remember at the beginning of the video where I tried to print out all the objects or all the albums? Let's go ahead and try to do that again now that we have some albums in there. So album, objects, all. All right, so we can see that we have two albums or two objects in our database. So this one and this one. However, I mean, unless you're a computer, this isn't really useful information. They just say album object, album object. And whenever I printed out these objects, I was kind of, you know, hoping for like the album title or like the artist or something other than this generic thing. I mean, I know that it worked. It's just that we don't have a really detailed explanation of what these albums are. So let's go ahead and fix that right now. So if you actually go over to music models, go ahead in your class album. And what we need to do is we need to specify, hey, whenever we're looking through the database and we say, give me all the albums, we just don't want to say, oh, okay, there's the album object. No, what we want is, I don't know, maybe the album title and the artist. So how do we do that? Well, we can make a special method called dunder string. Now, when I say dunder, I mean double underscore. And what this method is, is a built-in syntax that means a string representation of this object. So we already know that we can, you know, get the album title specifically or the artist, but what happens when we just print out the album? Well, what's that mean? Do you want everything? Do you just want part of it? This is where we specify what it's supposed to print out. And there are no rules to what you have to print out. You can kind of just print out whatever makes sense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna return uh, self and I'll say uh, album title and maybe I will Yeah, let's do this. Let's print out the album title and we'll also print out the, um, I don't know, artist. So self artist. All right. So what we're going to have to do after this is we need to exit the shell. Now we need to exit it because we need to restart it. Anytime you make changes to your models, what it does is it still has the old structure in there. So anytime you want to exit this, just go ahead and write exit the exit function and that does that and let me clear this and give us a new screen now if you guys remember how to start it up python manage.py shell and remember the first thing that we always need to do is we need to import those models so from music models import album and song all right so now let's go ahead and try to print out album objects all all right so that's a little bit better now what it does is it prints out red taylor swift high school myth and it did this because we didn't save middle school again so you see what i was talking about unless you hit save it doesn't explicitly save your data it just shape saves it in the shell it's about to say shaves it in the cell which would be kind of weird but anyways there you go now a couple last things i want to talk to you guys about maybe three more examples is you can actually look up specific albums and you can do this in a couple of different ways whenever we get to it in code i'm going to show you like the useful ways but now i just want to kind of show you guys what this is capable of so what this is going to do is it's going to get all the objects but what we want to do is we just want to filter some specific ones out so the criteria is let's go ahead and get the albums with the ID of one. And that's just gonna be Taylor Swift. So there you go, of course you can do it with two. If you do it with something like three, that doesn't exist. So of course you don't get any results. Now another cool filter that you can use is if you say something like album, uh, what was it, album title I think. Now let's get, a, uh, let's get artist. So we'll say we're gonna filter with artist, double underscore starts with equals uh, Taylor. So there you go, it's gonna look through all of your albums and find the artist whose name starts with Taylor. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but between artist and starts with, there's actually two underscores. So just remember that. So the reason that I'm teaching you guys this is because if you ever wanna add objects or delete them from your database, then this is a really convenient way. Also, the code that we wrote, for example, just right here, this isn't specific to your Python data API shell. 
this is the exact code that we're going to be writing in here. So it's the same thing. It's just a lot faster and easier to play around with it when you get your results instantly and you don't have to refresh any page over and over again. So anyways, that is your introduction. Pretty cool. I'll see you guys in the next video.